we are at the Pecan Valley Farms and RV Park in Junction, Texas. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this place. I knew the minute we came down the little hill and over that I was going to love it. It's our first morning here. Um, it is sunny, which is fantastic because it's been a little breezy, right? Yep. Um, but it's only going to be in the 50s today. So, and as the week goes on though, the weather's going to go up like 70s. Um, yeah. So, we're super thankful for that. But gosh, is this place adorable. This oh is a gosh. this is a real working farm. Yeah, they've got chickens, they got goats, they got ducks. There's a river um, right behind the RV park, actually kind of attached to it. I guess they call it a farm. You know, calling it an RV park, you know, doesn't do justice to no. the fact that it's a farm. And we met the owner yesterday, Robert. Robert, oh my gosh, such a nice guy, and yeah, so like this place is so quaint and you get the amenities like you get the full hookups but you feel like you're more in a rustic atmosphere which oh, yeah. is my favorite kind of campgrounds you don't feel like it's like rv 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 and we do that oh, we don't not. have a problem with that but even our spaces are very um there's good space in between right. and it's just oh, it's just lovely you're kind of nestled down a little bit which is yeah amazing. it's a little valley yeah, yeah a valley that's a great yeah, word it's a little valley so beautiful trees and it's great. They've got a cute little general store, mm -hmm. and it's the honor system. Yeah. It's great. You go in there, and there's a little piece of paper. You just fill out what you want and how much how much it is. And he goes, and we'll settle up later, you know, sometime during the week before you leave. And he'll deliver fresh eggs to your spot and yeah. ice and anything, like, large if you want firewood or anything like that. This is, like, so relaxing, especially in between, like, you know, the go, go, goes and, you know, being at places where there's a lot of attractions, you know, we just left New Mexico where we did White Sands National Park and the Space Museum. We did a lot in New Mexico yes. because when you're in New Mexico, where we stayed, right. we, it's not, you You want to kind of get out of the campground just because yes. it's, you know, you're just kind of in the middle of everything basically. Right. But I love these places where you feel like you are away from everything mm -hmm. and you can just chill. Like yep. you don't, that's the other part of RVing, I think, especially when you're living full time. I don't think you think about, like I, and it's true, you get out there, you feel like, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go see this, 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 this. Oh, yeah. There are times though that it is just so refreshing to go to a place and relax. Yeah. And there's nothing on there's nothing on the agenda. Like we don't have any touring to do. It's we're gonna see the beauty of where we're at. We sounds did what? We just did three national parks in less than yeah. two weeks. Well, and it sounds like a lot of people pull over here for like a one nighter and then they regret not staying longer. Yeah. So, and he said when we pulled in, the, like one of the first things he said to Kevin and I was, Oh, you guys booked this a year ago. <laughs> yeah, how are you, sir? Good. Twins? Yes. Okay, perfect. You booked a year ago. We did. Yeah. And we're like, yeah. And so, but he, they, they, I don't know. It's just so quaint and rustic and beautiful mm -hmm. and peaceful. And I am so excited that we're not just doing this for a day or two. Right. And we're looking forward to just kind of relaxing. So here's the downfall. There's no laundry facilities. So if you're expecting to get laundry done, you either do it before you come or you go into town. They do have a laundromat. It's no bells and whistles. It's basically the environment yes. is where your bells and whistles are, which I love. I that's mean, the, your amenities. Yeah. I mean, the chicken's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> like, and they do, they'll walk over, like that's where they're all housed is in their pens over there. Um, but they'll walk around. And it was funny when we pulled in, uh, there was like what a group of five chickens that yeah. came over like okay newbies are here What yeah. are they gonna feed us? It says on the rules you can feed them anything except for avocados tomatoes and meat I yes. think and beef uh, yeah. And so they're like if you have scraps throw them out there and they'll get them oh, So yeah. um, and it looks like they look for them. The goats are super friendly. Oh, yeah, and they come around and walk around as well So it's it's a really cool atmosphere another little hidden gem. So very much uh, a hidden gem. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of people that stumble upon it think so yeah. as well So oh, Rick and I actually even mentioned we woke up this morning and it was quiet it's just silent Except so. for the little chickens and the roosters and stuff, yeah, but, but didn't really hear later. that that was later. That was like uh -huh. nine the, the, the rooster was crowing, so. <laughs> We're gonna go keep enjoying it. We'll show you around. Okay, it is sticker time. Can't believe we waited this long to put on Texas. Super excited about this one. Cause it is huge. Well, everything in Texas is big. But anyway, so this one's going on. Get it 
lined up. Get that bad boy. <laughs> there we go. There's Texas. What will be our next sticker? <laughs> ah, we should. We should have people guess what's going to be our next state sticker. I don't know. If you have a guess, leave it down in the comments. All right. So it's a little after six, and Larik and I are going to walk down and see our ducks. Every time we walk down here, the ducks, it's kind of like they see you coming and they come running up to you. Sometimes they're wanting swimming, some. And they'll swim real yeah. fast to get over. It's so cute. So I'm going to try to show you. I'm gonna, hopefully we'll catch it where as we're walking up there, they come running up to us. I'm going to try to catch that. And there's deer running. There's deer running in the background, cool. but they're afraid around here. Yeah, they're really scared. Oh, there they are. Here they come. <laughs> Ooh, this guy looks crazy. Cute. They literally do they go come away. Oh, Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're just so happy. You want some crackers? They have definitely learned <laughs> that when people come up. They're gonna get fed. We like to think it's us, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, we've given them quite a few crackers. <laughs> yeah, but it is, it is so cute watching them come running up to you and just quack, 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 quack. And what's funny is they won't go that far. As, as we leave, they'll go up the hill a little bit, but that's it. It's like they know their place. They'll follow us too. They'll follow us for a little while, but then they stop because they know their place. But so cute. Luke and I were talking about it. We're actually gonna miss the ducks the most. <laughs> Today is a road tripping day. Road tripping day! And I'm sorry that often we come to you on road tripping days in the truck. We actually made a mental note to talk to you about where we were leaving, um, but it just didn't happen. So we're like, it's fine, we can talk in the truck because we're moving anyway. Um, it was very windy there the last couple days, yeah. so we weren't really able to film outside like we wanted to, so... It got really cold, too. Yeah. So... Yesterday, I think it was a high of like maybe 40. 7, 48, yeah. It got down to what, 27? 27 over Early this yeah. morning. So it was it was weird because I think sometime this week there in uh, Junction, Texas, it's going to be 85. Yeah. So I'm like, but that's Texas. Weather's yeah. crazy. So I know there was a cold front for a lot of people. We are leaving Junction, Texas, and we are headed to Port Aransas. Yes. Um, so very exciting in our in our Texas journey. But let's talk about Pecan Valley. I just can't say enough about this RV yeah. park. We don't do it a lot. Like we'll we'll tell you a little bit about RV parks here and there. Mm -hmm. But we're going to dedicate most of this to this amazing place. <laughs> when you find that place that Larik and I were discussing already, that we've been full time on the road now uh, nine months. Um, by the time you see this, it'll be well over nine months. But it's actually nine months next week. And by far and away, top three on my list of places we've been full time without question. It's a working pecan farm, it's a farm. Yeah. and chicken farm, eggs, goats, and they're all free range. And oh, when and the you ducks and the ducks and our ducks. <laughs> now, when we say free range, we literally mean you wake up in the morning, you open up the door of your RV, and there's chickens and goats standing there next to your picnic table. Yeah, super friendly, um, and even the ducks, which were by far my favorite. The ducks yes. were my favorite. But the thing is, they they have 20 spots total. We talked to the owners for a while. Um, they actually were full-time RVers, and they went and stayed there mm -hmm. and fell in love with it, and then when it came up for sale, they bought it. Yeah. And yes. so they know what 
they need there and what they don't need there, which I like. So if you're looking to go to a place that has a bunch of amenities, this is not it. They it's not have, a resort. It's not. It's not. It's not going to have pickleball. It's not going to have a pool or a playground. The beauty is really just everything that's around it and the animals and the little store. They do have bathhouses with uh, a men's and a woman's two stalls and two showers. I actually, for the first time, used it mm -hmm. because we knew it was going to get really cold. So we wanted to put away, you know, Kevin did a good super whatever clean with the tanks and all that. And uh, we wanted to put away the hoses for last night and all that and just be ready to go in the morning. And with it being so cold, I ended up taking a shower over in the bathhouse and it was wonderful, yeah. actually. So, um, but yes, very rustic, very... Um, it, the beauty lies within the property. Yes. It's just, it, and it just, it, it's a very slow down kind of place. The town of Junction is just up, what, about seven miles? Seven miles. There is a grocery store there. There is, um, a, we ate at Lum's Barbecue. Yep. There's a couple of great restaurants there. There's Junction Pizza, which apparently has the best steaks in town. Which we did not do steaks, but we did have their little pizza salad special, and it was really good. And then several Lums. people had told us about Lums to try Lums, and so Kevin and I went in and did that uh, for a lunch briefly when we went to get gas, and it was very good. Yes, really cute place, yeah. and uh, apparently it's the kind of place where they open up, and when they run out of food, they close. Uh, the owners were telling us that pretty much they run out of food every day so don't go too late if you're in that area but I had friends of mine Facebook messaging me that live in Texas that have been to Texas all saying you got to go to Lums you got to go to Lums yeah. so we went to get fuel yesterday it was right there and we're like what the heck let's get a yeah. late lunch early dinner and oh my gosh so good it's it's all the beauty again is in their food it's very basic you walk in you order at the counter it's it they are styrofoam plates yep. styrofoam cups they fill each thing with what you want, depending on what you order, yep. um, and a bunch of different sides. And I did like the I did the turkey and the brisket. You did as well. Yes. And it was very good, very good. Both were very good. We found ourselves like it's a very slow down kind of place, which I love. Like I love that you're in the trees. That we had a beautiful pull through spot. It was very large. Like I said, there's only 20 spots total. They have 50. 50-30 water sewer, so they're complete full so you're, hookups. you're totally hooked up, so you're not, you know, boondocking or anything. Um, and it was just an amazing week. Like, I cannot believe how fast the week went by. And, again, if you're going and you're expecting a bunch of amenities and a bunch of places to go, then that's, this is not the place for you. But if you love that slow down pace and you just want to be out there and relax, like, we sat outside, I did a puzzle for the first time. Okay. Um, we did, but like you could read, just it's everything slows down there, which I love. And the owners and their their um camp work, their camp posts, so nice, yeah. so so nice. So it's just a very hometowny feeling. It's one of those places that you just kind of slow down, yep. enjoy the animals, enjoy the people around you, and you fall in love with it so fast, or at mm -hmm. least we did. We did. Um, Already in just the small part of Texas that we've been, the people are just amazing. So kind. Yes. So nice. So um, our the, first week in Texas yeah. was really quite amazing. So the the big town near Junction is Fredericksburg. Yep. So we actually took one day and drove to Fredericksburg. It was, what, about an hour? Probably somewhere around yeah. an hour. An hour. About and an hour. Every, Not bad but, at all. That's another one of those places that everybody was telling us. If you're that close, you got to go to Fredericksburg. Yeah. You got to go to Fredericksburg. Lorica's best friends texted her. You got to go to Fredericksburg. <laughs> so we went, and oh, we are so happy we did. Yes. It's a little German town, or it was founded by Germans. So they have a bunch of different German food and breweries and things like that. Influences. Yeah, a lot the of churches influences. are beautiful. Um, we ate at this cool German restaurant, this German pub. Yes. Um, got some cool German food. Uh, I can't pronounce what exactly we ate. <laughs> some sort of pot roasty um, dish, and Larika got some sort of uh, roast beef dish, and we kind of shared a uh, we shared a German beer, which was cool. And just the whole town—it's it's one of those one 
one main drag as you go up and down seeing all the stores and everything else you know it's a touristy area so the stores are a little overpriced but it was just a lot of fun to get out and go down there Super impressed. Really enjoyed my stay. Like, we will definitely go back to Junction, Texas. We will definitely go back to uh, Pecan Valley, for sure. Yeah. So. And it's actually right along the I-10. You exit the I-10 on this farm road, and you go about six miles either direction, either from the east or from the west. It's anywhere between four and six miles off of I-10. But you don't go deep. I-10 kind of parallels it, and you just sort of veer off. And I didn't hear a single bit of traffic. No. There's no trains in the area. It was a great week. So now we are headed to... Port Aransas. Yeah, we're going to have a little beach time now. So excited. We're going to spend two weeks in Port Aransas. And then we're actually going to spend two weeks just outside of Galveston on the beach as well. Yeah. So for the next four weeks, we're getting our spring beach on. <laughs> yeah. Going to go exploring and just... Uh, Gonna hang out. Yeah. Super excited. You know, I, I'm, I've been excited for Texas for a while. Oh, so. yeah. So what's funny is this morning as we were packing up, the owner, Robert, came by and was talking to me. And we noticed this week a lot of one-nighters because it's right off the freeway. A lot of people come in for one night and leave. And we even read that on their website reviews. People saying, oh, we stayed for one night. We wish we could stay longer. Yes. So we were sitting there talking to him. And he said, hey, since you stayed for an entire week... What do you think? Is there anything we should add? Should we add amenities and this and that? And I looked at him and I said, Robert, do not change a thing. This place does not need pools and pickleball and all sorts of stuff. This is the way it is. And we fell in love at this park because it is what it is. It's a working free range farm. And that was the best part. It is. Every single day we saw the goats and every single day the chickens and the ducks and everything else. And that just became our, you know, kind of our ritual every day when we went on our walk. And the property is big enough. You can walk around and we would walk around for at least 30 minutes every night. It's my style. Yes. Because, but I mean, and, and that's coming from people that will, we will do the concrete jungles and... We are. So I'm not saying that, but just know when you're going there, exactly what it is is what you're going to get. But it's very slow down, and it's very relaxing, and it just it just was endearing to my heart. It, it just filled me up so much this week. So this was a nice break. Obviously, the beach is going to be a nice break. And then when we get to Galveston, we're gonna, obviously, we're going to go to NASA. So we do have a couple of small adventures and we're gonna to have to drive into town and do the Sam's and the Walmarts and everything else. So we've got a few more things to do over the course of the next few weeks. But yeah, this was just a perfect, yeah. a perfect refresh and rejuvenate and just relax and enjoy, enjoy nature, enjoy what God created. Yeah, it's just I like, I like sometimes the idea of slowing down. So if you like that, then yes. you would love this place. So Pecan Valley RV Park and Farm in Junction, Texas. Now, the owners have no idea we're doing this whole video about them. I didn't even, we tell, didn't even them. tell them. We didn't even tell them we had a, a channel or anything like that. So, we're not being sponsored or promised anything no. for doing this. This is how much we absolutely love yeah. this place. All right, everybody. Well, do us a favor if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. New videos are coming out every Sunday. You know, we just love sharing our journey with you and thank you so much for helping our little channel grow and getting the subscriber count up and that means more of you guys are, are watching our videos and kind of, you know, hearing what we have to say about things. You know, we are still less than one year of full time and the fact that 
so many of you guys are supporting us in our journey. You know, it just means the world to us. Yeah, and hopefully one day we'll get to meet you on the road because it's yeah. so much fun meeting people. Um, it's and you hear it from every channel. It's the yeah. best part about RV is the community and getting to meet all kinds of different people. So, absolutely. Yeah. All right, everybody. Well, you guys take care, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>